All right, here with uh, newly crowned world champion Caleb Plant. Uh, congratulations, champ, first of all. How does that feel to be world champion? Uh, it feels great, you know, just to work so hard at something for so long and, and to see that, you know, hard work really does pay off. You know, it's a blessing. I feel good. But at the same time, I know I, I'm supposed to be world champ. I didn't just escape with a controversial decision or, you know, I won in fashion. I'm clearly supposed to be here. Yeah, let's talk about the fight real quick. I, I think a lot of people expected him to walk through you. You never knew that. People who knew you knew that wasn't going to happen. In fact, we did our fight predictions. You were unanimous. Everybody predicted you. Do you think you surprised a lot of people, including uh, Uskatagi, right off the bat when you were, uh, you know, showed you had some power, dropped him a couple times, as well as just outboxing him? Uh, yeah, I think I surprised some people. Um, I had been trying to tell them, but they didn't want to listen, you know? Uh, so I think I surprised people. I think I surprised him. Uh, but I absolutely did not surprise myself. I've been telling people I'm going to win this fight. There's no way he can beat me. My manager's been trying to tell y'all. You heard it from everybody in here. People who know me know I'm no cakewalk for nobody. I'm the best super middleweight in the world, period. Do you think he underestimated you? Uh, he may have. Um, you know, I'm not sure. People talk a lot before fights. I talk, they talk. You know, who knows how much he really meant. Um, but I meant what I said, so. Well, early on, of course, you dominated the fight. As it got later, you know, he had his moments to start to come on himself a little bit at the end of the fight. Um, do you, did you start to tire out a little bit, or, or did, did things change? He just adapted to you a little more? Towards the end, when he had his moments, what was going on with you? Uh, you know, I had it, I set the pace high early. Um, my second 12-round fight, uh, you know, I, I, I had to set it high early against a guy who don't care about getting hit. You know, they just keep coming, you know. So I set the pace high early. Um, he, they said he's the boogeyman of the division. You know, he's the toughest one in the division. I was coming off a year layoff, a broke hand, no tuna fight, surgery. Um, so, you know, always uh, things you go back to the drawing board and make better, but we won in fashion. We dropped him, we boxed him, we banged him. We beat that boy every, every which kind of way. So uh, we're moving on to bigger, better things. So. A lot of people, including myself, kind of questioned you coming back for a title fight right away with that hand injury. Um, you know, but I know you, when you have a, a chance to fight for a title, you take it, injury or not. So do you, how did that injury affect you? Were you a little nervous going in or, or how did that play out? Uh, well, first, I just want to let the fans know I wasn't given that opportunity. I became the number. I yeah, my, my, I misspoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you know. I won the title eliminator. I was next in line. I earned my shot. And um, I don't turn down any fights. I never have. I never complained about any fights, any opponents, nothing. So I was next. I didn't care if I had a broke hand. I wasn't worried. Um, I first started training again. You know, I let it go. I was broken in July. I couldn't hit till October. I came back. I started letting my hands go lightly. Every day I picked it up, and it got to the point where I just told myself it's going to be what's going to be, and just let it go, and I did. And, you know, it held up in training, it held up in sparring, it held up in the fight, and so, yeah. What was his power like? You know, that's the one thing people question, whether, whether or not you'd be able to handle his power. You did glowingly, but uh, he didn't land a ton of shots on you, but you were pretty marked up. So what was it like getting hit by this guy? Uh, I mean, he's got some pop, but, you know, we all fight at 168 pounds. We got power of the big guys, and, you know, we, we can move like some of the smaller guys. Some of us can. So, uh, you know, he, he had good pop. It's not like he was feather fist or anything like that. But at the same time, one thing people don't know about me is how good my chin is. Um, like they, they, they said, he's the boogeyman. He, he caught me a couple times clean. Uh, and I was never wobbly. So, you know. You dropped him twice, though. Do you think that uh, he as well as some other people underestimated your power? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and some of these other fights where I haven't been sitting down on my punches, I've had hand injuries um, during the fights, before the fights, during the fights, and I haven't been able to let my hands go like I wanted and, and more importantly, sit down on my punches like I wanted. I came into the game, I had I was 8-0, eight, no, eight first-round knockouts. Um, you know, I got up to like 9-10-0 with 10 knockouts. Uh, and, I, you know, I kind of spoiled people with that. And then I started getting hand injuries. I wasn't able to do that and uh, kind of got away from that. But uh, really focused on the hands after I broke it, on my hand strength that way and hitting harder. That way during these fights, you know, my hands will hold up and they did. So 
Uh, it's nothing new for our, me and my team. It's just something that we had to get away from a little bit with the hand in injuries that we were um, having. But uh, I'm back full fledged now, so people can think what they want, or they can find out for themselves. Uh, people that know your story, it's it's tragic, it's bittersweet, it's inspirational, it's so many things. Um, but when you're in that fight, was there ever a time, you know, you, you said from the beginning you're going to win this title, win it for your daughter. Uh, was there ever a time during the fight when that's going through your mind, maybe you were getting the worst of it at a moment in an exchange and you thought, you know, I'm doing this for her, I'm going to push through this? Uh, yeah. That, that the fight, not the time for that? No, th th there were a couple times where, um, you know, I popped in my mind, they were, I, I was reminded of what I was doing this for. I was never in the hole, so it wasn't anything like I gotta, I gotta, you know, fight harder. But uh, yeah, with uh, some of the things I've been through, they definitely pop into my mind, especially in a fight of that magnitude. You know, just remembering in the later rounds what I'm doing this for, why I'm here. Uh, you know, the money is great and the money is good, but that's not that's not the only reason I'm here. So, so so how does that? I mean, obviously nothing can ever fill that that void in in, in what happened there, but. How does this somehow help, you know, I don't want to say close a chapter, but, but you know, work with that? Yeah, I mean, um, losing a child is something that, that pain doesn't go away. You know, you just, you grow and you learn to make room for it. So, um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a tough journey, but it's made me a better man. It's made me a stronger man. And, you know, I've been through hell and I came out the other side, so I know what, uh, you know, I'm, I know what I'm capable of doing. Well, you know, the, 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 it didn't end right there. You won that title, the greatest moment of your professional career, uh, one of the greatest moments of your personal life, I'm sure, right after. Tell us about that. What went into your thought of proposing if, you know, why well, I assume if you won the title, um, but, but how did that come about? Uh, I had known weeks before I was going to do it. Um, I was going to ask her after the fight. That, I've been telling people that night was only going to go one way. And that was me getting my hand raised, getting the belt, and then asking Jordan, you know, to marry me. So um, I had already had it planned out. Clearly, I, I knew I was going to win. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, you know, planned it like that. But so, yeah, you go, you set your mind something. You don't let it be any other way, and it won't be any other way. So You're a young dude, man. I don't know how you win a world title and propose in the same night. How do you beat that? It's going to be hard to stop that. Yeah. We're, we're not even... Uh, through the first month, already I'm champ of the world. I got the belt, got my girl, got the new S550 paid for sitting out front. Life is good right now. About to get a house. So, well, the uh, I know it's earlier. You're just enjoying victory, but names being thrown about. Anyone you're interested in right off? Uh, there's a lot of good names. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of big fights we can make. There's Caleb Truax, Peter Quillen. Um, you know, the, the, a couple guys about to fight for the WBC soon. You got uh, Callum Smith. So, you know, there's a lot of good names. Um, right now, I'm just, you know, it took me so long to get here. I'm just enjoying my moment right now. And uh, I'm clearly not scared to fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. So I'm looking to give you guys big fights, unification fights. I don't be who they said was the toughest. So, you know, what's next? Well, congratulations. And I know just finally you gained a lot of fans. You know, I looking at our videos. A lot of comments on you talking about how you know they didn't know who you were before, but you, you got a lifelong fan now. Uh, what's it mean to you to get so much exposure to these new people that get to know you and your story and now become fans of yours? Yeah, um, PBC, the deal with Fox, they did. It's a great platform for uh, some of us guys to show off our talents to the world. Um, have our old fans that have been following us tune in and watch us, but you know, just as importantly, have new people tune in and watch us and gain new fans. Um, so yeah, super excited for the platform with Fox and FS1 and the BBC. Uh, so you know, I'm excited. It's, it's just the beginning, though. So, All right, yeah. Well, congratulations to you on title victory. Hopefully, it's a long reign for you, and congratulations to you and Jordan on the, the upcoming wedding. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs>